Hey everyone, this is Derek here, and in this video, at the request of a viewer, I'm going to show you how to install either Chinese version onto Tencent's Gaming Buddy, which is their official emulator for PUBG Mobile, which was just released globally. So, this may sound complicated, but don't worry, I'm going to talk you through the steps, and I promise you it isn't that bad. So what we'll do first is we'll go up here, and then we'll just go to Update and check for updates. Because if you're playing this beta, um, it gets updated very frequently with new features and bug fixes, so it's important to do this first. Uh, assuming you get a message that says you have the latest version, what you'll do next is you'll go down to Settings, and then go to Language, and select Chinese, and say Save. So it'll say it will uh, take effect the next time you start it. So what we need to do next is actually quit it. Um, so I'm just right clicking on the taskbar on the little icon and just saying quit. And then what we'll do is we will search for it and we will restart it. So we'll say yes. And uh, now you can see that it looks quite a bit different. And that's because the Chinese version of the emulator is actually a lot more feature packed than the um, English version, which makes sense because it's been out in China for a lot longer than the, uh, the beta global version, obviously. Um, so don't worry. This Again, this looks pretty overwhelming, especially if you don't understand the characters. Um, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going up to this little search bar up here, and we will type in P-U-B-G for PUBG. And we'll just hit the uh, Enter key. And you can see there are two options here, and that's because there are two uh, options in China to actually play the game. So one of them is developed by the same studio, uh, I think it's Quantum and Lightspeed, which is the studio behind the um, version that we have globally. And then the other one is developed by a different company and has uh, some liberties taken, so it's not as true to the original version of PUBG. There's a uh, combat in the air and there are some other differences. So the first link is a 0.6.1, which is the link we care about because that is the Chinese version that is most similar to the global version, which is currently on 0.4.0 at the time of filming this. So basically, these are the updates that are going to be coming globally uh, soon. And if you want to download the other version, you can easily go back and then you can go into that one instead, and you'll see that this one is at uh, 2.8.0.425. Um, so again, like I said, this isn't as true to the original PUBG experience. However, some people prefer it. So what we'll do today, though, is we'll download this version, which is the uh, it's developed by the same studio that was um, that's behind the global release. So you can see here that we are starting to download it. So I just clicked on that link. And then, um, yeah, we'll just let it download. So here you go. You can see it's downloading now. We're at 3%. And this does uh, take a little while to download depending on the speed of your internet connection because the file is, I believe, 1.2 gigabytes in size. So it's a little bit bigger than the global release. So what we'll do now is we'll cut to uh, when it finishes, and I'll show you how to install it and how to uh, play it and how to jump back to the English version um, so we can actually read the menus. And one thing I did forget to mention, and that's if it's not downloading, um, so this is pause or resume, and this is cancel. So basically, if it's not downloading after a minute or two, it's very possible that you accidentally paused it, so you just want to push this button once, and then it will resume. Um, and like I said, depending on your internet connection speed, it may take a few minutes to download. Um, I'm on a pretty quick connection right now, and it still looks like it's going to take a few minutes. So I'll be back with you as soon as it downloads. All right, so here you go. We can uh, we finished downloading the Chinese version, and now we're installing it. So there we have it. Now we have both the Chinese version and the English version installed on the same emulator. So I clicked on the gaming tab and you can see both of them are showing up. And we could even download the other Chinese version if we wanted to at this point. Um, but now you're probably wondering, how do we get back to English because uh, I don't understand these characters? Well, it's pretty much the reverse. Uh, you just have to know what buttons to push. So we go into the menu here and we're going down to settings, which is the third one down. And then you'll see down here is language, this is Chinese, and then we just go to English. So we say OK, it will say um, next time you start the uh, emulator, this will be applied. Uh, so we say OK there, and then we'll just go down to the taskbar, we'll quit it out, uh, we'll close out of this installation too. And then 
I might have to close out of that one too. Yep, there we go. <laughs> had two of them running. Um, and then we'll just go back into Tencent Gaming Buddy. All right, so now we relaunched Tencent Gaming Buddy and you can see that we're back in English and the Chinese version is still there. So now we've got two games installed. We have the global English version, which is 0.4.0. And then we also have the Chinese version, which is 0.6.1. So let's go ahead and launch that now just to show you that it does work. Um, and that this is something you can do. It's honestly not that difficult. It's nowhere near as difficult as uh, what we used to have to do, which was you know, had to switch your app store to download it. I mean, now you can you know, download it in a matter of minutes, uh, which is pretty neat. Uh, the, all the controls are in Chinese, as you can see, but that's not a big deal because um, they're pretty easy to know anyways. And uh, if you're curious about learning about them, uh, definitely check out my video where I explained earlier today what every um, control does. And like I said, pretty quickly it becomes second nature um, and you don't really even need this. And if you're playing in full screen, then you won't see this anyways. So here's the Chinese version. Um, it is loading up. I believe it has to do a uh, check for update and a quick database download the first time you run it. Um, and then we can go ahead and log in. So I'll go ahead and log in to uh, WeChat probably. And then, um, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. So it is important to note that you do need a um, you do need a compatible um, social networking application to run the Chinese version. However, it's uh, not a big deal because you can download uh, WeChat, the app anywhere in the world, set one up with your phone number, and then um, you have access to that. So hopefully this video helped you out. I don't want to drag on too long. Uh, this video is just meant to be uh, how to download and set up the Chinese version so you can play on it. Um, and if you want to play the Chinese version through this official PUBG mobile emulator developed by Tencent, then this is how you do it. So definitely stay tuned to the channel for tons more uh, gameplay videos. I'll be posting some gameplay from the emulator, um, probably both versions, but we'll start with the English version just because that's what most people are familiar with. Um, as well as a ton more PUBG mobile content. So if this video helped you out, definitely give it a thumbs up uh, to help the channel grow. It's awesome to see the growth we're experiencing. And consider subscribing if you haven't already for tons more PUBG mobile content. So my name's Derek G, and I hope to see you on the battlefield soon or in my Discord server. And I'll leave a link to that below too. Uh, that way you can get to know the community, uh, talk to me, and uh, potentially play some games.